we're building our own battery cell. We believe they're the most advanced cells in the world right here at Giga Texas. And over time, this could become the largest cell factory on the planet. A new kind of battery has just emerged from behind Tesla's sealed lab doors in Austin, Texas, and it's nothing like what came before. No flashy launch, no press event, just a quiet breakthrough that's now sending shockwaves through the EV world. From the outside, it looks like any other battery pack, but inside it's faster, safer and more powerful than anyone thought possible. It doesn't just store energy, it delivers it instantly with no fade, no lag and no overheating. Tesla hasn't just improved the battery, they've changed the game forever. The old game lithium's limitations, for more than a decade, the electric car race revolved around one material, lithium. It powered everything from luxury sedans to budget EVs and was seen as the unquestioned heart of the industry. But lithium came with baggage. Every engineer knew its weaknesses, slow charging, gradual capacity loss, and the looming risk of thermal runaway when temperatures climb too high. The best minds in the field tried to patch these flaws faster chargers, improved cooling, new cell designs, but the gains were always incremental. A few extra miles of range here, a couple of minutes shaved off charging there. Progress, yes, but slow progress. The conversation became one of managing limitations, not overcoming them. Even as headlines celebrated each breakthrough, the core problems never disappeared. Lithium was still expensive, difficult to source, and vulnerable to global supply chain politics. While the industry focused on squeezing more life out of the same old chemistry, Tesla quietly stepped away from the crowd. They weren't trying to win the old game they were preparing to end it entirely. The Austin breakthrough. It all started with a question. Why keep fighting lithium's weaknesses when another path was right there untouched? Inside Tesla's Austin lab, a small team began experimenting with aluminum, a metal dismissed by researchers for decades. It was cheap, abundant, and incredibly conductive. But it had one fatal flaw, ion lock. Aluminum ions could hold energy, but they couldn't release it quickly enough for real-world use. That was the wall. No one could break until Tesla did. They developed a proprietary carbon graphene substrate laced with atomic scale induction points. It didn't just allow aluminum ions to move it, let them fly. And the moment it worked, everything changed. Suddenly, the limitations of lithium didn't matter anymore. Tesla had unlocked a material that could move energy almost instantly without overheating, without degrading, and without the fragile supply chains that haunted the EV industry from the start. Quantum burst discharge. The real innovation wasn't just in the chemistry, it was in how the power was delivered. Tesla called it quantum burst control, or QBC. Instead of pushing energy out in a slow, steady flow like traditional batteries, QBC shaped and released it in high-speed pulses. The result? Instant torque with zero lag, as if the car could anticipate the driver's foot before it moved. Lab tests showed numbers that didn't even seem real. 7,000 watts per kilogram, over five times the output of Tesla's 4,680 lithium-ion cells, and the hotter it got, the better it performed. While lithium cells risk meltdown past 40 degrees Celsius, aluminum ions hit their stride at 85 degrees Celsius, delivering stable, repeatable power without overworked cooling systems. It was like going from a garden hose to a fire hydrant, the same energy, but unleashed with unstoppable force. For Tesla, this wasn't evolution. It was revolution, the beginning of a new era, the birth of Model 2. Tesla didn't just drop this battery into an old car. They built an entirely new machine around it. Internally codenamed Project Redwood, it would soon be known to the world as Model 2, a compact EV with numbers that sounded like science fiction. Starting price, under $16. Range of 550 miles on a single charge, full recharge in just five minutes. Early prototypes were tested in total secrecy, plain black wraps, closed test tracks, no marking. Journalists lucky enough to ride in it didn't know what was under the hood, only that it launched harder than anything in its class, hitting 060 inches just over three seconds. No overheating, no throttling, no cooldown, just raw, repeatable power. This wasn't Tesla catching up, it was Tesla disappearing over the horizon. Aluminum, the overlooked element. For decades, aluminum was the punchline of battery research. Yes, it was light and abundant, but in the lab, it was unstable, too reactive, too slow to release energy. So most scientists gave up. Tesla didn't. They saw aluminum's flaws not as dead ends, but as challenges. Most batteries start dying the day they're made. 
Each charge cycle chips away at capacity until they can't hold enough energy to be useful. Tesla's aluminum ion design flipped that story. Each cycle didn't wear it down, it strengthened it. The internal structure realigned itself under stress, like bone healing stronger after a fracture. Even after 500,000 full cycles, the battery still delivered 100% of its original performance, equivalent to a century of daily use without fading. Regenerative braking became nearly perfect, capturing up to 98% of normally wasted energy. In city driving, that meant up to 20% extra range without ever plugging in. Extreme heat, cold, rapid acceleration, nothing phased it. The battery didn't just survive stress, it thrived on it. The old rules of battery life no longer apply. Giga Mexico and the Swarm. Tesla knew a breakthrough this big couldn't be built slowly. That's why the first aluminum ion hub rose at Giga Mexico, a factory designed from scratch for speed, efficiency, and sustainability. Gone was the slow, water-heavy coating process of lithium plant. In its place, a dry electrode method that halved production time and saved billions of gallons of water every year. From raw materials to finished packs, just 72 hours. But Mexico was only the star. Tesla's plan was a swarm dozens of small autonomous microfactories spread worldwide, each capable of producing a million packs per year. By decentralizing production, Tesla broke lithium's global chokehold and sidestepped geopolitical risk entirely. The future of energy wouldn't be controlled by a few, it would be built by many. No more choosing between performance and practicality. Tesla is giving you both and delivering it at scale. And thanks to the new design, simplicity, lower material needs and reduced complexity, Tesla's cost to build each unit has dropped significantly. Whether they pass those savings to customers or keep the margin, the edge is theirs. When you push this far ahead, the rest don't just fall behind, they fall apart. Let's see how the competition handled the hit. Knocking out the competition. Tesla's competition is falling behind and fast. Not long ago, it looked like the EV race would be tight. Big name car makers like Ford, General Motors, Toyota and Volkswagen were pouring in billions. Startups like Lucid and Rivian promised bold innovation. Chinese giant BYD was dominating global sales. For a minute, it really seemed like Tesla's lead might not last. Then came the carbon wrap motor and everything changed. Most of these legacy automakers still build electric cars using platforms designed for gasoline engines. That means their EVs are heavier, less efficient, and more expensive to make. Their factories were built for gas-powered cars, not electric ones. And they rely heavily on suppliers for key parts, especially batteries. Tesla doesn't. Every Tesla is designed from scratch to be electric. Their factories are built for EVs from the ground up. They make their own batteries. They now even make motors that no one else in the industry can match. While other companies are just catching up to Tesla's last big breakthrough, Tesla 